I'm Jesse Farrell, and I'm the manager here at Hub Comics. Hub Comics was founded about 11 years ago by a man named James Wellborn, who lived in Union Square. He had always wanted to open a comic book shop. When this space opened up, uh, he thought it was perfect. He lived in the neighborhood. Uh, he was able to, uh, starting with his big collection that he'd amassed over the years, he was able to sort of make that the cornerstone of the shop, and uh, he uh, was able to found this place. He, uh, unfortunately, he died a few years after that, uh, and uh, Tim Finn t uh, bought the shop. It took over and continued James' mission and expanded it, and here we are today. Uh, Somerville, particularly Union Square, has got a great mix of people of all walks of life and all just from everywhere. Uh, we've got all kinds of people coming in. Uh, it's always, always a new crop of people coming in. It's a very educated population. It's a very literate population. Uh, it's a very curious population. People uh, love comics, and it's been just great. Irene Tegelmeyer is one of the most popular uh, kids comics authors today. She started with this book, Smile. These are all semi-autobiographical and kind of can be read in any order. Smile and then Sisters and kids just love these books. Aga is probably our best-selling title, uh, which is about a uh, couple that were in uh, on different sides in a war in outer space. And they are uh, two people who were in, uh, on opposite sides. They were in love, they had a kid, and now are on the run. And it is crazy, fantastic adventures where everyone is a real and relatable person. And it, uh, it's just instantly accessible. People will come in by the first volume and then come back for the other eight volumes like the same day. We have a wide range of customers. Um, most, I would say most of our customers are uh, young professionals in their uh, 20s and 30s, but we also have a lot of uh, older traditional comics fans, as I like to call them, like myself, who came in reading superhero comics and then kind of expanded into all genres. Uh, there are also now a lot of comics for kids and a lot of, uh, that's sort of the, the biggest growth in comics lately has been kids comics and comics for, for young adults also. There's, uh, that has been the biggest uh, trend and the biggest explosion in comics. Uh, and, and there's just a lot more people reading comics than ever have been, but they are not the uh, traditional comics fan. A few uh, artists, local artists, um, this book, Assassination, which is uh, co-created and drawn by Erica Henderson, and who also drew the unbeatable Squirrel Girl for Marvel. And this is a really fun, hyper-violent uh, um, assassination comedy. Uh, not for kids, really good. Uh, Dial H for Hero, which is about uh, a boy who has a telephone dial that will turn him into a different superhero for an hour at a time. And this is drawn by Joe Canonis, who is also local. The comics are one of the few things that uh, people still want the physical thing in their hand. Uh, it's not like movies or even books uh, where you can read comics on a tablet, and some people do, but I feel like that's not the same thing as having a physical object, and people uh, really like to browse them, and people like like to, to flip the pages and look at the, the pictures. Union Square is a great neighborhood. It's a beautiful neighborhood. It's a really friendly neighborhood. I've never um, felt more like I was part of a community. Um, there's a lot to do here. There are a lot of great restaurants, which I love. Um, it's very easily accessible uh, by, um, by public transportation to all kinds of other parts of Somerville and Boston and Cambridge. Uh, but it's also still a quiet neighborhood, so it, it just uh, doesn't get too busy, um, doesn't get too congested. There's a lot going on. The uh, Somerville Arts Council does a great job. There are always lots of events and festivals, and uh, it's just a really, it's a great neighborhood. It's a great place uh, for people to, to gather and meet and live.